Hey, welcome back, I'm Lai. Uh, recently, Samsung announced its newest, biggest, and the most anticipated smartphone in 2018, Samsung Galaxy Note 9. This phone right here. Notice the difference? Well, that's a trick question because there's not much difference between this one and its previous version, Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Comparing to Samsung Galaxy Note 8, the only significant differences between these two versions are their processors, internal storage, as well as a bigger battery. The one that stands out most to me is this huge one terabyte internal storage. Is it really necessary? Do consumers like you and I really need one terabyte of storage? Well, the answer might be more interesting than you thought. First of all, let's get one thing straight. Samsung is not making the majority of its money from its smartphone business. Despite it being the world's largest smartphone manufacturer, smartphone sales only accounts for 16% of Samsung's annual profit. Samsung sold in total 320 million smartphones in 2017, and that makes Samsung number one in smartphone market in terms of its sales. However, these strong sales have only resulted to 25 billion in revenue and 2 billion in operating profits. Comparing to Apple, which has significantly less sales, Apple made $48 billion in profit in 2017, 24 times that of Samsung. But sure, Samsung makes less money than Apple, everyone knows that. How does this affect Samsung's decision to upgrade its internal storage though? Well, to understand that, we need to understand the business of Samsung Electronics. Samsung Electronics has three segments of business that make money. The first segment is its smartphone business I've just explained. It's responsible for many great phones we had over the years. It makes $2 billion a year for Samsung. Quite a lot of money, to be fair. However, considering Samsung's business as a whole, which I'm sure Samsung CEO does all the time, Samsung makes the majority of its money 80% by selling memory chips, RAMs, and OLED displays. 12 billion dollars. That's the real money for Samsung and that is the reason why Samsung Galaxy Note 9 has an outrageously huge storage. 512 gigabytes internal storage, 512 gigabytes micro SD storage. One terabyte of storage is truly too much if you ask me. But for Samsung, it's not just about the internal storage, is it? It's about how many smartphone manufacturers are going to follow Samsung in this trend. Because the more they do, the more Samsung will make in its semiconductor business. And if I didn't make myself clear, Samsung is not just strong in the internal storage and the RAM market, Samsung is a monopoly in those markets. Samsung has 37%, 45%, and 33% market share respectively in the RAM internal storage and SSD market, which makes Samsung the largest and the cheapest supplier of those components. So as long as smartphone manufacturers follow the trend and launch smartphones with more internal storage and RAM, which I fully expect them to, inevitably, more Samsung's components will be supplied. Let me give you an example to illustrate what this monopoly power means to Samsung. Currently, an 8GB RAM costs around $20. Samsung has 45% market share and its largest competitor SK Hynix has 27% market share. Thus, because of Samsung's higher production quantity, Samsung is able to produce an 8GB RAM at $15 and its closest competitor SK Hynix can only produce at $18. This gives Samsung tremendous monopoly power because Samsung can charge brands like Apple and Huawei anything below $18 and they will buy it. Buyers have low negotiation power because there is no alternative in the market that can supply RAM as cheaply as Samsung. To advance this argument even further, if smartphone manufacturers start to make phones with higher storage in the future, Samsung might even become the only company that can supply them because of its sheer size. In both the RAM and the internal storage market, Samsung's closest competitor, Toshiba and SK Hynix, only is half the size of Samsung. Therefore, going back to the question why Samsung made the decision to upgrade its Galaxy Note 9 to one terabyte storage in total, the answer is now pretty clear. This is not simply a move by Samsung to upgrade the performance of Galaxy Note 9, because the point is, from Samsung Electronics' strategic point of view, the company is no longer a smartphone manufacturer. It takes an increasingly behind-the-scene role 
as the biggest component supplier of RAM, internal storage, as well as OLED displays in the smartphone industry. I did not mention this before, but Samsung is also a monopoly in the OLED display market with 85% market share. This is why despite Samsung and Apple's ongoing lawsuits, Apple's newest iPhone 10 has Samsung's displays in it. Apple had no choice, only Samsung can produce OLED displays of such high quality this quickly. Samsung has, over the years, slowly become this behemoth of a company in the smartphone component supply market, and this has pushed its smartphone business secondary. This is the real reason why the newest Galaxy Note 9 has one terabyte gigantic storage. Do consumers like us really need one terabyte of storage? Well, I doubt that. But the larger point is this, as long as Samsung's competitors believe bigger storage is necessary to compete with Samsung, Samsung's main business will continue to prosper. You know, at the end of the day, it's such a genius move coming from Samsung, pushing higher storage numbers on its own smartphone models to force its competitors to create smartphones with more storage. But the only way to compete with Samsung on higher storage is to buy storage and RAM from Samsung, such a genius strategy. Uh, so here I wanna make a prediction. Now that we have already seen Samsung pushing higher storage and RAM in its premium smartphone business, I think by the beginning of 2019, Samsung will start pushing higher storage and RAM in budget smartphone market with its J series and A series. Currently, the industry standard is around three to four gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage. I think by the beginning of 2019, this is my prediction, Samsung will bump it up to six to eight gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. Uh, I'm also ambivalent about Samsung upgrading the internal storage because most budget smartphones comes with expandable storage with micro SD card. But yet again, Samsung is one of the biggest players in the micro SD card. So this is the brilliant situation Samsung is in. I think whichever strategy Samsung chooses, Samsung stands to win. Lastly, I wanna welcome Jonas, Alexander, Maritz, August, Jens and Joshua to my Patreon and thanks to all of you guys who have supported me on Patreon. This channel wouldn't be possible without you guys. All right, that's it for today. As always, I'm Lei. I'll catch you guys later.